All right, today we're here with Zach Parisi and wild skating and skills instructor Andy Ness. And uh, we watch Zach work in small spaces. We know how good he is around the net. This drill should magnify some of his skills. So what we're going to do is we're going to work on some play off of the boards, off of the wall. And if you guys watch, you know, you watch the game today, a lot of it is played on the boards and being able to pull pucks off of the boards. We'll set up a lot of different drills where guys are having to get the puck off of the dasher, off of the wall, and trying to control it. Because one thing that you'll notice is the puck is on the wall. It's got a lot of spin to it, so guys have to, it's a skill that guys have to practice to be able to do it. All right, so how are we going to set this drill up? So what we're going to do is I'm going to start with some pucks here up. Say like a defenseman throws the puck back down in the corner. Zach's going to be down low. He's going to pick the puck up. He's going to pull it off of the dasher, try to get the puck off of the wall right away so he's not trying to fumble the puck on the boards. Get it off the wall. Jared's going to give him a little resistance. He's going to make a tight turn and then come back and then go right to the net and get a shot. Jared Spurgeon, our human pylon out here for the drill. This should be really good. Similar to the games. Yeah, it's a pylon. <laughs> Okay, ready? Go. How'd you like the efficiency that, that Zach showed? Because that puck was up on the wall. The longer it's on the wall, the tougher it is for him to possess the puck. How'd you like the retrieval? It was, he, he does an excellent job. That's one of the things you'll notice about guys that are really good down low and guys in the corner. They're unbelievable at getting control of the puck off of the boards. You can set that drill up. Up high, down low, we'll set it up all over and just working on pulling, off, pulling the puck off. Now, he's a lefty. If we switch sides, he'd have to pull it off on his backhand. Right. You know, and, and we did it in the offensive zone here. You think about the defensive zone, you're playing wing, a D rims the puck. You've got to pull it off with the D pinching down in you. So it's, it's really challenging, but it's one of those skills that you have to be able to get down to be able to play at a high level. And Zach, so many teams cover in the defensive zone with the center down low. It's basically man on man. If you can somehow beat your guy one on one in that corner, it changes the whole look of what you guys are trying to do. I, I mean, for me, that's, that was almost like a two step drill where you try to pull the puck off efficiently and you almost want to be able to do it so fluidly where you're not worrying about the puck I'm more concerned okay where's Jared when I'm gonna get this puck off the wall can I bait him in and then get away so it's all about repetition with that where you get to be so good at you're not worried about am I gonna get this puck off the wall like you know you're gonna get it I need to know where these guys are and then make my play kids so many times you go to the rink and you want to work on your shot you want to keep rifling that puck it's all great, but get your buddy out there, wrap some pucks off the dasher, and work on retrieving that puck, using speed, create space, and drive the net like number 11 does for the Minnesota Wild. You see this inside of a game, night in, night out on the forecheck. You too can do that if you work on it and practice that skill.